Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Zhezhou Hao. I'm an assistant research fellow from Chinese Academy of Forestry. I'm honored to present our work in this meeting. Uh, this is a paper published on the forest ecology and management, and the co-responding author is Professor Wang. The topic of the paper is vegetation structure and the temporality influence the dominance and diversity and composition of forest acoustic communities. Uh, the soundscape of the urban forest can be uh, quite rich. Uh, here is a sound clip that I recorded in one of our recording plot, and we could find uh, that there are different uh, different uh, kind of bird uh, singing with some uh, noise in the background, uh, which is a typical soundscape in urban forest. And the two uh, uh, spectrum clearly show the bird and the insect, which are active during the day and night, uh, respectively. A uh, distinctly uh, different vocalization. We can see, uh, in short, the bird call are more variable than insect. Uh, so the bioacoustic provide us with a completely a novel perspective to understand the relationship between the animals and the urban. So human activities interfere with the sound's transmission of birds or insects while rebuilding the habitats on which animals uh, depend. In this study, we focused more on the vegetation uh, prop properties of urban forests and the influence of the structure of a forest on acoustic communities. Animals are actively uh, choosing the uh, forest structure that is uh, suitable for their vocalization. When urban forests pro uh, provide a living, a, a living environment for uh, wildlife. Uh, based on all above, we made two uh, hypotheses just showing on the screen, yeah. Uh, our experiments were conducted in a forest park in Shenzhen, the, the south of China. Uh, Yang Taishan Forest Park is one of the most uh, important urban forest space in Shenzhen, just showing the picture as a picture. Uh, the vegetation type are mostly um, uh, subtropical uh, evergreen broadleaf forests. And we select the east, par uh, east part of Yang Taishan Forest Park as our study area. Uh, all the recording plots uh, met two uh, principles to ensure uh, the uh, represent of each uh, plot. And the, the, the sonic uh, environment were recorded by 10 audio, uh, audio recording uh, devices named SM4. We set up the schedule uh, in the SM4 recording from September uh, 2018 to May 2019. Uh, the program to collect one minute out of every 10 minutes. The devices was fixed on the two on a train, uh, two meters from the ground, as the picture show. And at the same time, we take uh, we took into account the weather condition uh, on the on the on the day of the recording. So we removed the data uh, on rainy or windy day. Finally, we got about two uh, thousand hours of uh, reliable data. Uh, the text box showing uh, just below uh, was the three acoustic index uh, we selected for the uh, study to uh, evaluate the biophony in terms of uh, the dominance, the diversity, and the composition of the the sounds, the soundscape. According to the uh, simple uh, sampling methods for the uh, source sub, uh, subtropical zone forest, we conduct a comprehensive investigation of the uh, vegetation you will see in the recording plot. Our vegetation structure uh, variables are the focus of this study. So we wish mainly include the vertical and the horizontal uh, structure of the forest. Uh, using the liner uh, mixed model, we found that under storage, under storage spaces richness and the NDVI and the tree high diversity all had the uh, significant posit uh, positive effect on biophonic uh, dominance during the whole day. And also we found a significant, uh, significant contribution of tree height diversity and the, the, the third layer height was, was found in the biophonic diversity and the day night top models, just showing on the table. 
Uh, the RDA uh, analysis was used to figure out the relationship between the biphonic occupying in different frequency bands and the vegetation structure variables. Uh, three frequency bands cluster were ide identified during the day and night as the circled area. We can see the first access during the day and night was significantly driven by the NDVI, uh, the train high diversity, and the understory species richness, which means that these vegetation structural variables were mostly were most associated with the biophonic frequency composition. Finally, we came uh, we came to the following conclusion. So the first one is the composition of the vocalizing uh, spaces changes to, uh, changes between day and night, and the biophonic uh, characters are affected by different layer of vegetation structure, and the vocalize, uh, vocalizing uh, spaces have the similar habitat preference during the day and the night. And the final one is the train high diversity uh, as a cri uh, critical uh, variables affecting acoustic communities. So uh, we also talk about uh, the, the, the structure of the urban forest is very important, uh, important in, in urban forests. So I think maybe our work uh, used the uh, uh, soundscape, used the by acoustic method to prove some uh, evidence for why we, we should to build a more uh, complicated, uh, com complex uh, uh, vertical structure in urban forests. So uh, this is a paper uh, I just uh, described below before. Okay, so this is my work and thank you. If you have any question, I'm very welcome to answer.